Hello and welcome. It is currently that of the 20th day of February, 1 a.m. Eastern time as I'm doing the video, but doing timestamps for this doesn't mean much when the silver market is closed, all bets, trades, and amongst the like, that is each his own risk and their own reward. All right, that it, you know, it is getting very very close until I'll be looking to make my largest silver buy very, very soon here. A day in which, well, first day I really should be stating, I expected to be coming for quite some time based on the fact that silver and gold prices, albeit they have been going up, they really haven't went up much at all, given the fact that Bitcoin prices and other cryptocurrencies have. Thus, the ratio of all the cryptocurrencies that I hold against that of silver are moving towards my favor where you just have to buy some. As I'm living with a portfolio of cryptos that are several X fold higher and I've been buying groceries and miscellaneous things along the way as well. And now it's getting to the stage where, okay, if you have like, say, 100 units and your 100 become like 400, 500, 600, if you pull like two, three, four hundred off the top on the six hundred, you're in better shape where you were in cryptos before, and you got a lot of silver. And those who have been playing cryptos to try to accumulate the precious metals via that of cryptos go up first, at least better than such, and then I can buy more. Well, now you got a decision to make. Do I want to go for better prices? Do I want to buy some precious metals now, buy some later? And for me, I'm going to be working on both the numbers in the sense of, okay, I've had some amazing gains on the crypto sense. So I'll pull out an uh, X and X will be a decent percentage, but could also be higher, which will make my ratio or my silver holdings, let's say it noticeably go up a bit at least this time. Well, they always go up, but now also of note too, I've made a couple recent orders on silver, um, relatively within quick periods of each other and probably do a third one soon because I'm going to be calling them tomorrow, the place that I buy from. But originally, a couple of weeks ago, or three weeks ago really, I ended up buying some silver and I'm really, oh, reading, oh, like seven to ten business day delays. Okay, what, whatever. I mean, more times, every time I've bought in silver, it's just, okay, take a look at it, uh, admire it for as, if, if need be for what you need to and then put it away where, it, where it's where I know it's supposed to go or where I designed it to go, or designated it to go. And then that's that. And whether I bought it like a year ago, week, week ago, five years ago, I've never, it's all the same to me now. Meaning if I get it like a week or a month later, no big deal. And then this, they pretty much sent it out immediately. Then I bought it again at the start of this week, the end of the weekend, and it's still in the processing stage. So I'm going to give them a call tomorrow. I'm presuming it's all going to be fine but I maybe I should ask if I'm going to be making a big order what should I avoid buying because I do think there's going to be a big rush coming into the physical commodity especially if things like Elon Musk whom is within the Tesla uh, CEO or big time head head honcho we'll call it there if he does do the big buy on the silver that I mean there's just so and it doesn't take that big of a buyer to really make these markets go up and just the sum of people we've been doing it we as in the people whom have been buying the physical commodities, taking the silver, really, at least for the temporary time being, and when I say temporary, it could be years and decades, off of the market, and thus into the physical holding of them, and really voting with your currency and your money, meaning, meaning what do I want to hold, how do I want to allocate and such. Of course, gold and silver, to me, being a perfect example. How many people are going to be seeing what I'm seeing. I mean, it's just, this is like the most easiest play. I mean, the only difficult decisions is what silver do I buy? How much do I buy? What percentage do I buy now? Because I'm going to be contacting them as, okay, I'm going to be buying about like six, seven, eight times larger than my last order. And this is, I'm just getting started for this. This will be my biggest order ever, but I'm just getting started with big orders. If, of course, the crypto games work out to the stage where Oh my goodness, we got like, uh, well, Bitcoin's at 55,000, 56, 60,000, oh, 80, 100,000. Then more importantly, stuff like Theta goes to eight, nine, ten dollars Okay, what do I do here? Or I have like Polkadot that goes to like one, two, three hundred dollars What do I do? A, a, a Bitcoin Cash, two, three, four thousand. Litecoin, maybe five, six, eight hundred. These are all realistic prices that can come. And when those prices occur on those spots, and 
I almost have no choice but to allocate it into that of precious metals. Within the daily term time frame, I do like the setup in here. I like how the ET moving average has been rising. Price action has stayed within it. Even in today's session, we had price action dip below it, but not for that long as we had the price action come down at like the start of the day, really. It was like, and then that was it, just not long, hardly anything at all. It was one of those like flashes kind of, not even a flash crash because it only went down like three, four percent. I mean, I guess on the minute time frame, and I guess I can show that. You might have called it such, but it recovered it extremely fast. So whatever happened here. So on the minute, yeah, a flash crash on the minute time frame. So what happened at 1857? Well, whatever happened, uh, price action most certainly recovering from those losses and then rallying throughout most of the day. Well, up and well, yeah, through most of the day. So I do like to set up here on the daily term. It's been in this correctionary mode as it's found support at the exponential 23.6% Fibonacci. It also, I guess you could say a large pierce above this such uh, piercing below 50% retracement. I'm not going to say the Fib retracement at 50%, but it is a 50% retracement because of what it is mathematically. And again, high divided by low. So key high, that's around 30. Key low, that's around 11 and change to the exponents. This is 76.4, 61.8, and 38.2. And then you multiply the low again, which in this case is about 11 and two thirds. And all these time frames to me, weekly chart is a spectacular one, breaking out above it on the February 1st week stamp and having a hold within the 18 average of highs over the last two weeks, as it has to me is um, just, just the setup is looking very, very good as if this thing is just ready to be uh, taken off. So I'm getting very, very serious about, okay, I want to make sure that uh, I get in before any type of big buying. Now, I'm not really checking any source here, any source there. Okay, I know this person's buying. I know Elon, Elon Musk is doing this, or we got this big advisor here. There's just so many people that I do know that are in the cryptocurrency game, and they're in it because they're anti-fiat currency. And that's really what it is for me. And I'm anti-fiat currency and very pro, extremely pro-advantage gambling. Thus, playing the crypto games does both and such. And when I first seen on silvergoldbull.ca, which is whom I'll be calling on Saturday. If not, I'll call them on Monday, I suppose. But I think they're open on Saturday. With these, I think I might have called them once on the weekend before I've done much business. But many, I've done a lot of business with them in the past. So, and I do realize that there could be an interesting situation where, and I say as long as silver and gold prices real, basically remain tame or don't go out of hand, then it's going to be Bitcoin that controls the market. So as long as is a key word. So what are the type of actual situations that can stop, the along, stop that as long as? Meaning, is it possible you see Bitcoin go up like X percent and a good X percent, like not 20 or 30 percent, but Bitcoin going up 60, 80, 150, especially if we're talking over 100 percent. And then it underperforms silver and even gold, but mainly silver, we'll say. That is a possible scenario that I know can come into play. Where we could see Bitcoin maybe go from 62 to 85,000 or 90,000, yet silver is at like $85 or 100. Because of some sort of big event that occurred that got this happening. They bought it a big on all of these bullion exchanges. And then they bought this the, the ETFs up. They bought the future contact contracts here and this option and that option and so on. They and then again a lot of people together is bigger is is damn big. Let's put it that way. So that's why I'm a little bit interested to see if anything like that's going to happen. I realize if I do buy any silver and then the price of silver goes down, I'm buying an asset that I realize to me is, I mean, safe. I mean. Do we have a chance of, say, aliens coming down and sending 55 billion tons of silver, giving that to us or just trading it to us? Thus, we have so much of a supply. It's so worth. It's basically hardly worth much at all. That's about my biggest concern right now for silver. And if that's my biggest concern, yeah, it's not a concern at all because I'm just trying to figure out the most screwed up long term situations where silver would have a, a major decrease in value 
over a significant period of time. Fiat currencies, all cryptocurrencies, give me 5, 10, 20, 40 years. Oh, that's kind of, that's a scary thought. On both sides, both bullishly and bearishly to what those things will do. And the fiat debt notes, are they going to gain in value? I mean, really? Okay. But are we going to have it hold or not lose too, too much? I mean, if we have inflation of just, I've said I, I mean too much, way too much, but if we, if we have the situation of inflation where over, say, 25 years, it only loses like half or, or 60% of its value and inflation is only 130%. Well, that's not really losing its value. That's what I talk about and not getting destroyed. I do believe highly that gold and silver, especially silver, is not only going to enable such, and not only enables such where you don't get your ass kicked, but heck, you don't even really even lose from buying power for the most part. Meaning if you buy today, five years from now, 10, 20, whatever year, how many years you choose from, almost every single asset class is cheaper for you. Pretty much almost, because you never know which other miscellaneous items will have spectacular games. And of course, major asset classes, real estate, all types of currencies, and so on and so forth. The uh, food, uh, I was going to say music, but I guess the music industry, whatever. I don't know why I was thinking that. But yeah, so just the idea of turning more cryptos into such, doing some mathematics to determine, okay, if I take this much out of my portfolio and cryptos just keep going way up, I'm going to want to be in a really good situation. I'll just keep on saying, okay, what's my next stage for my next order and how much bigger could that order be? When I first started way back when into silver and way back when, let's just say back in uh, here, I am learning about the fact that you could actually buy and sell a market and it's like gambling. It's like you can it's like a bankroll that goes up or down, you win, you lose. And well now that's music to my ears at that time. And because I'm learning about such, I'm also learning about the world economies and well, gold and silver and all that type of stuff. And then learning about how the markets, well, my goodness, the stock market's probably gonna collapse and everything. Okay, dollars back by this and and at that point, when I was going through, I decided, you know what, I'm going to put a target to own, to get over a thousand ounces of silver, which it's been, a, that's a long, long time ago that I've surpassed that number. So now I've increased to another zero. Okay, I'll go, go for 10,000, but even go further. I'm always going to want to have 1,000 ounces of silver for the rest of my life. And once you get to a, such a large number, then I get to the stage where I can make some very good distribution plays of silver later on when the time is right. And still be way, way north of that number. Because that's what I'm doing in cryptocurrencies. Okay, I take this much Bitcoin off, this much Litecoin off, this much Tezos and all these other coins that I have off the board. And then I eventually turn them into just one currency like Litecoin, Doji or Bitcoin or something. Probably Litecoin because it's the easiest. And then turn and then figure out what I'm going to take out on it. And then there we go. Make my buy and then have some fun as the uh, the next purchase comes in. All right then, there isn't much more to go over because I mean, I'll, I'll quickly st start or finish this off by showing uh, the cup and handle that most people uh, do like seeing or a lot of people still got a long ways to go to go this neckline and that's got a long ways to go I'm, I, in my belief and it's a matter of when. And I think the when isn't as far off as... Because a matter of when has been a long time. It was a matter of when. Back in those early days when I started, I got two ounces of silver my first time. It was two Canadian Maple Leafs. And uh, then I knew the matter... But it's been longer than I thought it would back then. Now it's getting to the stage where things are just picking up extremely, extremely big. And now, I don't know if this volume means too, too much, but we, at least on this chart... The volume is uh, higher as it continues like over the last few years. And I would not be buying silver in these large amounts if I was in the combination of majorly confident silver, but more importantly, the lack of confidence in a fiat currency that is backed in faith. Is it backed in good faith or you can delete the good with some other word faith or a different adjective? I don't think it's backed by anything that 
I admire. I know that actually. So that's why when I pick up silver rounds, silver coins, silver bars, I do get a larger admiration feels when I actually look at the, my gold and I see what gold, the, the, the shine and the, the amazing myth, the fact that for generations it has been sought after for quite some time. And to me, there's still no reason not to sought after such given the alternatives that are out there. Thank you for tuning in. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.